All right. So the next game after that game against Kansas, Oklahoma finally gets to come home on the date of October the 26th. Texas Tech will be in town with first-year head coach Cliff Kingsbury. This is Cliff's first ever job as head coach. Of course, former quarterback there at Tech has been spent the last year at Texas A&M, and before that, he was also with Kevin Sumlin at Houston. He took over a team that last year went eight and five. They finished four and five in the Big Twelve, tying them for third in the Big Twelve Conference. Last year in the bowl, their bowl game, they held off Minnesota, don't you know? The Minnesota Golden Gophers, 34-31 in the Meineke Car Bowl of Texas. Players that will be missed from last year's team, of course, everybody knows the quarterback's going to be missed, right? I mean, it's Texas Tech. This time it's Seth Dahey. Dahey last, last season passed for 4,205 yards, 39 touchdowns, and 61 was his longest, and that one came against the West Virginia Mountaineers in that upset win that crumbled West Virginia's season. Defensively for Tech last year, uh, Cody Davis is their defensive player that will be missed. He finished with 101 tackles last year, one interception, zero forced fumbles, and zero fumble recoveries last year for the Raiders. Last year's version of Texas Tech with Tommy Toberville didn't do too badly offensively either, averaging 37.5 points per bowl game in Lubbock. Texas Tech, Oklahoma history, 14-6 overall, 11-6 in Big 12 play, but they did beat us last time they played here in Norman in the rainstorm two years ago. Quarterbacks that will be missed uh, quarterbacks or players that are coming back to this team uh, is the quarterback, of course. Last year he passed. Last year it was Michael Dyer. He's going to be the returning quarterback. He passed for 375 yards last year, four touchdowns, with a long of 36 yards against our Oklahoma Sooners and the Schooner Sooner in Lubbock. Uh, like last year, the running the running back returner. Will be Kenny Williams. He'll be the he'll be the guy that's coming back from running back. He had 143 uh, carries last year, good for 824 yards, five touchdowns. 24 was his longest run, and it came in that upset win over West Virginia. And then of course Eric Stevens will also be coming back. He had 89 carries last year for 480 yards. 15 was his long. And that came in their rivalry game against Texas. Wide receivers that will be coming back to help Michael Brewer offensively will be Eric Ward is coming back. He had 82 catches last year for 1,053 yards and 12 touchdowns. His long of 39 yards came against the University of New Mexico in that home game. Their tight end, Chase Amaro, will also be a, a key offensive player. He had 25 catches last year, good for 409 yards and four touchdowns. 61 of those 409 yards came as a long, and it came in their upset win over Country Roads of West Virginia. Defensively for the Red Raiders, Kerry Heider. Had 56 tackles last year, no picks, no forced fumbles, and, but he did have one recovery of a fumble for the Red Raiders. And also defensively coming back will be Will Smith, not the actor Will Smith, <laughs> the defensive player Will Smith, the Texas Tech Will Smith had 56 tackles last year, no fumbles, no interceptions, and no fumble recoveries for the Red Raiders. As I said, this game will be played on the 26th. 
date of October 2013. This has been the Texas Tech Preview. Everybody stick around, and as always, everybody remember, Boomer Sooner, everybody. Take care.